So the first time I met the Chief Executive Heidi was a few months ago when it was uh, International Nurses Day. Uh, she came to our department main theatres and at that time I was just appointed as the newly band seven in our department and we made an arrangement that we have a one-to-one -one so that Heidi knows my area of work and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So we met, Heidi came to the department and we had a tour around the three areas of main theatres which are the main theatre itself, the recovery department and the admissions unit and during our tour she met different people and she was introducing herself, asked them what they do and how long they've worked in the department. So we met on a one-to-one -one, uh, and then we had a lengthy discussion on my role and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and also the challenges that we face in the department such as uh, staff shortages, the well-being of staff and how to help them uh, with multi-skilling. Heidi was willing to listen. She, she, I believe she took on board uh, what I've said, the challenges that we are, have, we are facing in main theatres. I really felt honoured that Heidi took her time to come to my department. It was really nice to have an honest conversation with her and I felt really comfortable and I felt I was heard. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank her for doing that. So when we were out and about one day celebrating International Recruitment Day for Nursing, um, I met Margaret when we were up in theatres and she explained she'd just gone into a really exciting new leadership role and she was full of energy and really wanted to discuss that with me so we agreed to meet up. A few weeks later, um, Margaret invited me up to theatres so I went up, got my theatre scrubs on which actually secretly was quite nice because it reminded me of when I was a midwife and we used to wear theatre scrubs. Um, and Margaret took me into theatres and we had a really, really fabulous walk round. She introduced me to a lot of her team that she'd worked with for a number of years. And that was really, really nice because that connection, as I talked to them, some of them had worked together for 10 or 15 years. Um, and it was really nice seeing how they connected, seeing how they talked really authentically about why they'd stayed in recovery, for example. I met quite a few of the team in recovery. Um, and it was, it was really fantastic to hear that kind of importance of teamwork and the difference it had made. Whilst they simultaneously talked to me about the challenges they faced as a team, um, the challenges that we currently face as an organisation. And so we had a really honest and meaningful broad conversation together as we walked around. I then had an individual conversation with Margaret herself um, and it was really lovely. So she was really curious and she was really courageous to challenge me, talk to me about what the organisation could do for theatres in terms of the challenges they faced. We also talked more broadly about the ICS and what that meant for us as an organisation, what that might mean for Margaret as an individual nurse in a leadership role and what that might mean for theatres for example. So, it was really nice to see how connecting with an individual nurse and almost seeing what it was like to be Margaret for a day was a real privilege and allowed me to really get a flavour of what it felt like and have an honest discussion about the challenges they were facing, but also keeping me really grounded so that I really connected with the importance of what mattered to those working frontline in theatres that day. So the reason it's really important I continue to do these visits and stay connected with colleagues like Margaret is it helps me really understand what it's like to work alongside colleagues that work day to day with patients and supporting each other and it really helps me understand what I need to do to drive an amazing culture here at NGH. So yeah, all in all, I was really grateful for how honest Margaret was, how honest the team were, and how she was really, really demonstrating that inspirational aspect of why she was in a leadership role and that she wanted to really push the boundaries, be curious, and make NGH the best place it could be for her and for her wider team. So. A huge thank you to Margaret, making me really welcome and to the wider team that I met that day. So a huge thank you for everything that you do.